everybody. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about how to remove the header and the footer on Squarespace 7.1 from one page only. Uh, we're gonna do this without code that might break uh, something uh, that's already there, and we are going to do this pretty easily. So what we're gonna do is, let me just tell you, a header is basically this top part. So if we go to a site, we see kind of like this menu thing. That's your header. The footer is the bottom part, this wonderful thing here. Now this is just a random page. I just started it. Uh, so anyways, uh, so this footer we're gonna get rid of and this menu, uh, this header part. Uh, and we're only gonna get rid of it on one page, not the whole site. So you might wanna do this if you wanna do a landing page um, or if you wanna just make your homepage look different or something like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, I am on a Mac. If you are on a Mac, I recommend using Chrome and then some other browser. Safari, Explorer, Firefox, it doesn't matter. But we are going to use Chrome for one of these. Uh, and the other one that we are going to use is doesn't matter. Uh, so for me, for some reason, um, and this might not happen to you on a PC, uh, if I use the same browser for Squarespace in the site, something's happening, but I also don't know if that's happening because uh, my site isn't an actual website published. Um, it's through a Squarespace site. So uh, you might be able to use the same one. I do it as two separate ones, just letting you know um, in case you run into that problem like me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to go to the one that has our wonderful uh, Squarespace site. So this is Squarespace. We're going to come on over here on the left and we're going to go to pages and then you're going to choose the page that you are trying to change. Uh, so for me, it is this home page. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to show it to me. Awesome. Now we're going to go back. We're going to click that little home button back. We're going to go to design and we are going to go to custom CSS. Now, a lot of things try to have you do it um, on the specific page. We're going to do it for the whole site, targeting the one page. So we're going to go design again and then custom CSS, and we're going to have this right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that other browser, Chrome, and we've got our site, our page on here. So this isn't actually my main home page. So here's the page that we are affecting. You need to go to that page. Uh, and I'm going to give you two options to do this. The first option is going to be without installing anything. The second option is going to be with installing something. So that first option, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and in Chrome, we're going to come up here to view developer inspect element or developer tools. Really, uh, I usually go to developer tools first. Um, so come on over to developer tools and you're going to see the page that you've got here and then you're going to see this. Now, when you get here, all we are looking for is basically an identifier for this one page so that we're only making the change on one page. So we're going to come up to the top and you'll see body ID collection with a large string of info. I'm going to click on it, double click on it. It's going to highlight it. Now I'm going to either right click and press copy or press your command C uh, to copy it. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we are going to use that piece of code. So now we are going to go back to that page on Squarespace where we have code right here. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and put in the hashtag or number symbol pound. Uh, and then we are going to either right click paste or command V to paste that code that we just had. Now we're gonna press space and type in header. Next, we're gonna press a comma, then I'm gonna press enter again. We're gonna repeat that little hashtag pound sign, uh, and then we're going to paste again that collection number, space, footer. Then we're gonna press enter, and there's a little symbol next to your P. We want to get that top symbol. So we're going to press shift and that button, our bracket button, to get these little brackets for us. Now you're going to see they're green. No worries. Press enter. All that's doing is letting us know that the code is right where we need a beginning bracket and an end bracket. So we're going to press enter and then we're going to type display. And my microphone's in the way. I apologize. So we're going to press display. And then we're going to do the button next to the L. We're going to do shift that to get our colon there. Uh, and then what we are going to do is 
Space? None. And if you look and you watch, it disappeared from here. And at the bottom, it disappeared as well. So if I get rid of that none, you will see it. Do, do, do. So if I get rid of that parts right there, you'll see it's there. And it's there. And then we put that display none back. And it's gone. Voila. But it's still on other pages. Uh, that is all we need to do. Now, in code, it is common for you to not really know what is actually, what was this code for? What did I do this for? So if you go to the top and you click enter, and then you put your cursor back on number one, you can actually write a note to yourself. So if you do a forward bracket, oops, not question mark, a forward bracket, and then the little star, that little thing above the eight button, and then write whatever you want. So I like to write remove header and footer from home page, whatever page I'm doing it on. Uh, and then space that little star and then that forward bracket. And now I have a note to myself. This doesn't impact the code at all, but it lets me know what the heck did I do. So if I come back to this later, I don't have to look up what did this collection mean, what if, especially if you're removing it from multiple pages. Um, this lets you know, hey, I did this on the home page. This is what's affecting that. Uh, so that's just kind of common uh, CSS coding um, etiquette is to put notes in your code. So that is something that you can do there. Uh, then you're done. That is all you have to do. Click that save button. Now I'm going to go back to that other page. We're going to click enter to refresh it. And you're going to see, look at that. It's gone. It's gone. The top and the bottom are gone. Perfect. Uh, that's exactly what I wanted. So that's it. Um, if you found this hip helpful, hit that subscribe button. And let me know in the comments. Um, I actually have a membership where I help people with their technology questions. So if you are a person who's constantly having tech questions and you're uncertain, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I have a membership where really I get on calls and help you. Uh, we do a group where you just ask your questions and I answer. Think of it like IT on demand. A lot of entrepreneurs have found this very, very helpful. Uh, so feel free to check it out. Um, reach out, let me know. Uh, and either way, hit that subscribe button. It helps other people find these videos. I hope this was helpful and have a great one, everyone. All right, and I told you that I would give you another way for you to be able to get that piece of code to let you know what page we are on in a different way. There's actually in Chrome something that you can install and I'll put the link below as well as the code that we used here, um, except remember you have to change the collection number to the page you're working on. Uh, but what you can do is, and that's not it, that's me uploading this video, uh, but what you can do is this little thing right here. It's this little B, uh, and this is a extension that you install on Chrome uh, that will literally, if I go to the page and I click on it, it will give me that collection number. I can now click on it, it's copied, I can come over here and paste it. Uh, and it actually puts that pound sign in there for you, so if you do do it that way, just be aware, you do not need to put the pound sign again. It has it for you. Uh, so you can do it this way, or you can do it this way. Uh, this extension right here, if you're like me and you have a bunch of them, you might need to actually click this little puzzle button to find it. Uh, but you can go ahead and go down here, search for it, see if it's there. Um, and it is called this guy right here, Squarespace Collection Block Identifier. And again, I will go ahead and you might need to activate it. Um, so if y'all need a video on that, just let me know. But that is an extension you can use to help you get some code sometimes to uh, really impact specific areas. Um, so I hope that helps. Just wanted to make sure I covered that.